blaming you, gaslighting you, snapping at you, interrupting you, ignoring you, yelling at you, telling you that you're too sensitive and you can't take a joke. And oh my God, if the attention gets put here. This is still to this day, one of the best you know demonstrations I've seen of reactive abuse. And if you don't know what reactive abuse is, that was, you know, is when a narcissist or a toxic person or whatever, poke, poke, pokes you, pokes you, triggers you, you react out of character, you explode, and then you become the bad guy and the narcissist starts to play the victim. That's why, that's why I say like controlling your reactions is a power against a narcissist because when you react and they can trigger you, they can control you. They feel like they can control you at least. Take away their reactions, you take away their control. I know, that, I know that's tough to do, but that's the thing because reactive abuse can be used against you because they'll pull out their phone and record you. So stay safe. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, also known as Mental Illness, the Diagnosed Narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder, and the point of my platform is to bring awareness to this disorder and also you know, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. This series is dedicated to taking my TikToks and expounding upon them, my YouTube shorts and opening them up. The one you just watched right there was about reactive abuse. And that right there um, was one of the best, you know, examples I have seen to date of reactive abuse explained, you know, in dramatic fashion, in vi like visual representations of what reactive abuse is. She shook the soda can. She's like blaming you, gaslighting you, manipulating you, telling you're not good enough, all that other stuff. You know, reactive abuse is when a narcissist or a toxic person or somebody in general pokes you, pokes you, pokes you and sets you off. Make sure and, and you explode to the point where you act out of character. You are reacting to their abuse. And a lot of times, you know, reactive abuse can be used against you, because especially if you are reacting in public, especially if you are reacting and a narcissist catches you, catches you on camera. You start reacting out of character. Look how crazy you are. I'm telling everybody, look, court it, you were in what, what the kids say now, 4K, court in 4K, you were in 4K, got you, look. And that's how they'll set you up. And they'll use that and they'll hold, where was that? They'll use that, um, that reactive abuse that, and to blackmail you with, to keep you, um, it can keep you in place and things like that. And I know, a lot, I know a lot of people ask me, like, what do narcissists get from reactive abuse? They get the feeling of power. They get the feeling of control. Because, you know, I say this all the time, narcissists can't, like, we can't control our own emotions. You know, so we try to control everybody else's. Like we try to control the environment around us because that's one of the main problems that narcissists have. Like one of the very first, one of the very first, ex, very first exercises I did in therapy was uh, she called it the, my therapist called it the control circles. There's a small circle and a big circle, like a small circle and a very big circle. She said inside the small circle, write down the things that you think that you can control. The things that you think you have control over in your life, in your world. And in the larger circle, write down the things that you cannot control. The things that you think you have no control over. And the, the balance in that circle was that, like, you know, the bigger circle was supposed to have more stuff in it. But it wasn't that way. I had to, my little circle was full of stuff. It was just my brothers, my sister, their plans, all kinds of stuff like that. And, and my therapist was saying that's, the, one of the, that's one of the main imbalances that you have dealing with your narcissism and you think you can control everything and while you're spending so much time trying to control everything else you are losing you are actually you losing control of yourself so you're, you're going out here you're trying to provoke people to react because you can control that that's one thing that's inside of your control you feel like you can't control everything else but guess what i can control i can control you inside look dog whistle you know what dog whistles are that dog whistle is when they Somebody sets you off, like just somebody says something or does something that's just going to set you off. That's intended to set you off. So protect yourself against the reactive abuse. And I know that's one of the things people ask me, like, how do I protect myself against reactive abuse? It's so hard not reacting. That's the point. Not reacting. 
not reacting to the abuse. And I know that's tough, like everybody's situation is different. It's gonna take time to build up to the point where you don't react to them. You know, you can use the gray rock technique when you become like a rock, you become boring. You become non-reactive to the narcissistic person in your life so that, you know, they don't get the thrill out of uh, trying to trigger you. They don't get the thrill out of messing with you. They don't get the power trip from messing with you and putting you down and stuff like that until you blow up, until you, what? Um, what's the, the Joker? You ever seen the Joker movie? And he's like, we're, they expect us to lay down and take it like good old boys. They don't expect us to be like a wolf and stand up and roar and take our power back. Narcissists don't expect you to do that. They expect you to go, boop, boop. they expect you to go, boop, boop, boop. They, 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 the narcissists expect to be able to put that code, that code in to get you to react. Like, boop, 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 reacting. You're like, ah, you put the code in and you're reacting. So you have to get to the point where that code doesn't work anymore. So if the narcissist comes home from a bad day at work or you or both of y'all meet at the house or something like that and they try to get you through the react, it's like, okay, the, the narcissist is having a born a born night and they look at you like, okay, I'm about to put the code in. Boop, 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 boop. And it doesn't work. And they try it again, like boop, 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 boop. The code's not working. Boop, 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 boop. So guess what? You don't react, you win. But guess what? This is what you have to protect yourself because if they can't get, get a reaction out of you that way, they'll try again. So you have to remain strong in your in like you have to remain strong in your like in your just have the willpower, have the strength and control because they I'm just telling you, that if you don't, the narcissist will literally drain will literally suck you dry, will take you for everything that you have, and will not feel one be, one piece of bad about it. And I've seen people, I've seen stories that people use those videos in court and stuff like that, in like uh, family court and things of that nature to get the narcissist, like to try to get custody of kids and things like that, to try to paint paint you in a bad light. So you have to protect your peace right there. Be the soda can. Sometimes the soda can, like they you know, don't be that soda can when they pop the top, it fizzes out everywhere. Be that be, be that bland soda. When the, the soda's so flat, when you pop the top, it's like, and it don't even taste good no more. The narcissist will typically try to get rid of that. Or they'll become boring and leave that, or they'll just, you know. The only thing, you can't control how the narcissist reacts to you. The only thing you can control is your reactions. And I know that, I said, I know it's, uh, y'all yeah, like, yeah, how do I control my reactions when he's poking me anyway, that's that. You have to, like, you literally have to find the willpower in you. If you're, going, if you're going to remain in that relationship, I know everybody can't leave. I know everybody doesn't want to leave. This is not a judgment zone. This is a no judgment zone. So if you can leave, leave, like plan, make your plan, make your exit plan if you want to leave. If you want to stay, don't realize that the only thing you can control in that situation right now, unless you have, if, if you have financial independence, the only thing that you can control is your reactions. You can't cannot control how the narcissist reacts to you. The only thing you can control is how you react to the narcissist. And eventually, hopefully, if you do that long enough, they'll have to alter how they react to you. They'll, they'll have to alter their behavior towards you because they can no longer get that power, that supply, that fix, that high. Because getting you to react Gives a narcissist they high. It's like, oh, I did it again. It's like, like uh, you ever seen the Avengers movie when Thanos put that last Infinity Stone in that glove? He's like, ding, oh, that's exactly how it is right there. Narcissist put that in there and get all that power, that power flow, and things like that. And do not be surprised. Do not be surprised if you're reacting, you're crying, you're yelling and screaming. If the narcissist tries to sleep with you, because that type of stuff, like your reactions, can turn a narcissist on. You're crying and begging and pleading, the narcissist is like, oh, you look so hot right now. Why are you crying? I just want to do it. And weird stuff like that, I'm just telling you. I know I've, uh, I've connected with some people today that say the exact same thing. That the, the, your tears, your reaction, your yelling, your screaming, the ability to provoke you will turn the narcissist on. And it's because they feel like they're in control of you. They feel like they have control over you, so they, now they, they have control over your mind, so now they want your body. So... Protect your peace and protect your pieces, your private pieces, because the reactive abuse can't get them, can't turn them on. Anyway, anyways, y'all, like and subscribe to the channel. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. You know, 50,000, thank y'all so much for 50,000. I'm I'm just, I'm, I'm speechless. I can't really talk straight. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all. Tune in for the next episode. Mental Illness is out. Peace.